Ben here from Life Science Centre. So when I was younger, my mum used to take me to bed and she used to challenge me to jump into bed before the lights went off, out after she'd flick the switch. I never did manage to get into bed before it went dark, but that got me wondering, how fast does light actually travel? Well, light is actually the fastest thing in the entire universe. It takes just eight and a half minutes for the light to get from the sun all the way to our planet Earth. So measuring the speed of light in the house with a stopwatch isn't really going to work. But I do have something that might work. Let's go back to the kitchen. But the light that we see with our eyes is just a very small part of the whole spectrum of light. And we do have something in our houses that we use to cook with that uses a different type of light. Microwave ovens use microwaves, hence the name. And all light travels at the same speed, so we can use one of these in order to measure the speed of light. We're also going to need something else that you might have quite a lot of at this time of year. Chocolate! Other brands are available. Don't worry if you don't have any chocolate to use though. Other things that you could try are using some bread with a thick layer of butter on. Or you could try slicing up some potatoes. Or you could even try some sweets or marshmallows and seeing how they work. The joy is, is that you can experiment with all sorts of different things. And if it doesn't work the first time, that's absolutely fine. Try it again in a different way. That's part of the scientific process. Light can move as a wave, like this. In our microwave ovens, the wave is being sent out. But like this wave, it doesn't actually appear to be moving. So we call it a standing wave. Where the hose moves the most at these points, the wave has lots of energy. In a microwave oven, these points create hot spots in the food. The spinning plate moves the food around through these hot spots so all of it gets cooked. But when we put the chocolate into the microwave, we only want to know where the hot spots are. So we can get rid of those. But we've still got the spinny bit, so we just need to raise the chocolate up a little bit from the bottom of the microwave. So I have made a couple of just folded pieces of card and they're just going to go in there to help raise it just above the little spinny bit there. Next, place the chocolate bar into the microwave on top of these bits of card. Now I'm placing mine in upside down so that you can definitely see whereabouts the hot spots are. And now I'm going to put mine in my microwave for about 15 seconds but yours will depend on how powerful your microwave is, it's worth putting it in for about five seconds at a time just so you don't get too much melting of the chocolate. And out it comes. The hot spots in the microwave create these little melty parts of the chocolate and we can measure the distance between them just using a ruler. Thinking back to our wave, we've just measured the space between these two points but we need the length of the whole wave, which is double that. So six centimetres times two is 12 centimetres. But I am measuring it in centimetres, but for speeds, we use the value in metres. So we divide it by 100 to get 0.12 metres. We calculate the speed of light by using a very simple equation. We do speed of light equals the wavelength times the frequency. We've got the wavelength at 0.12 metres and we can check the frequency of the microwave just by looking at the label on the back. We've got 2450 megahertz. To get from megahertz to just hertz, we need to times that number by the million. So we do 2450 times million, you get 2 billion 450 million. Well, that is a big number. And then we times that by our wavelength, 0.12 meters, and we get 294 million meters per second. Wow, that is fast. 
The actual speed of light in a vacuum is just under 300 million meters per second. So when you think about it, in the case of hundreds of millions of meters per second, when you're just 4 million meters per second out, it's actually really quite close. Plus, if we're traveling through air, light's going to travel that little bit slower. And we were only using a, calcul a calculator, a ruler, microwave and a bar of chocolate. So I think we've done a really good job. If you do this at home, let me know what value you get for your speed of light in the comments below. Now all of that hard work in quantum mechanics, well, that's got me needing some chocolate. And luckily, this experiment is 100% edible. <laughs> Lovely. So light travels very, very fast. And I was never going to beat it to jump into bed. But that doesn't stop me trying, though.